Hey there, welcome back. I have an apartment tour I'm gonna show you guys because I've told you we're moving. I haven't told you where we're moving yet, but we're moving. So I figured before we completely destroy the place in baby stuff, which you'll see where all of it is lingering in a few moments, um, I would show you what it was supposed to look like originally and what it has looked like the last like 11 months we've been here. So this is what $1,700, 30 minutes out of sight of Salt Lake City will get you. Um, just to put it in perspective, and you will notice ahead of time, it looks almost identical to my Dayton apartment. I just reused everything that I had before. Okay, let's go. Okay, right when you walk in, you are greeted by a large closet. We have shoes and jackets and junk in there, purses. Um, I love it. It's twice as big as my other apartment had. And there's two of us here now, so that's helpful. And then the kitchen is my favorite part. It is just an open concept, and I just reused my same bar stools that I had in the other one because same like dark cabinets. We have Randall watching baseball that I turned on silent. Um, living room was kind of like weird because if you notice, there's not a good spot to put the TV and to have a couch. So we have like the TV kind of angled and then the couch right here. Um, it's the best setup we could figure out. The other option was having the couch over here and then it was literally like backing right up to the island or having over here and then just being super far away from it. Really everything's pretty much the same. Like this is Randall stuff, but oh, rugs. I'll show you guys in a second. These are from eBay and there's like a trick to get um, pretty inexpensive rugs, but I'll tell you that. Oh, we have a patio. It's pretty big. I don't go out on it much. We just have a double um, papazon on it right now um, being in Utah, dust gets everywhere though, so it's covered in dust right now. Okay, enough of that. Then we go down the hallway and into a laundry room. It came with a washer and dryer. Beautiful. Ooh, I love, these are from Target for laundry, separating darks and lights. I love those. If you guys need some kind of organization system, like a basket, that is perfect. And the cat box there. And then right in here is the guest bedroom. Um, and it pretty much looks identical to my bedroom in Dayton. <laughs> this is my maternity pillow that I do not use and I hate it. And it literally takes up an entire queen size bed, which is this. So when you have a larger person next to you and then this huge gigantic pillow that's taking up most of the bed. It just does not work. So um, we paid like $70 for that and I feel bad because I'm definitely going to get rid of it. Either donate it or try to sell on Amazon, not Amazon, Facebook Marketplace. Like I literally used it once and was just like, I can't, can't do this. Um, it did not help me. There would be more pillows there, but Prego Lady needs like a million in the bedroom to like prop myself up on. Um, this, I don't know, this room kind of just gives me very like eclectic vibes. I enjoy it so very much. Um, but what I was saying about the baby stuff is, oh, hello. <laughs> um, it's all under, it's all in here. Under like the bed, there's like a ton of boxes. There's stuff behind that mirror. There's stuff in the closet, <laughs> like the, just a ton of baby stuff that we have not done anything with yet. So um, that's gonna have to happen really soon because I am 30, what am I, 33? 33 and a half weeks pregnant, so I need to get that, that worked out and some of that open. I just, you know, the, with the cats, they're naughty. So we've been waiting. Also, speaking of naughty cats, that's why the window looks like that. Um, Maxwell, definitely. All of, all of Bear's too sweet to do that. <laughs> and then Randall's bathroom is here. Pretty big vanity, I really like that. And then into the main bedroom. Oh, this is from 
overstock this rug, but this rug is from eBay, which is the same as the rug that's in the living room. So if you guys are wanting a rug, I highly suggest, um, if you're looking at anything like Rugs USA, this is a Rugs USA rug, um, you can actually, so find the rug you want and then go on to eBay and put the rug um, into it, like whatever the style number is, and there are sellers and I know like my rugs came from the same seller, but if anyone ever returns a rug from like Rugs USA or some other sites, usually it goes to an outside um, salesperson who then resells it on eBay. Like it doesn't go back to the main place where they send it out like someone ordered it brand new. So I got this, I think like 70% off and the same thing with that rug out there. So like what should have been that huge area rug 300 400 dollars i think i got it for like um under 100 and then this one i got for i want to say like 60 ish and it was supposed to be like 200 i don't know um but like this one it was said it was supposed to come with a stain i still for the life of me cannot find where the stain was supposed to be so um I feel like they just returned it and they, because they didn't like it and then they resold it. So, um, anyways, bedroom wise, it's pretty much again the same as, well, actually, no, this one's kind of different. De decor wise, it's the same as I would have. But this is Randall's um, furniture and Maxwell has destroyed it. You can see, I mean, you can see that he has completely destroyed it. So I need to like sand it when we move, after we move, sand it down, paint it. I want to switch out the handles I do not like these um and do something I'm thinking like a green color or white I've not really decided yet um I hate this comforter it is uh not the original one we had on this is Randall's like from years ago so uh we've been using this I actually already have a comforter set here from Crate and Barrel <laughs> I got it on clearance and I just have not put it on yet. Um, I think it's because I was thinking like we're moving, like we can throw this away and like keep it all vacuum sealed. My bathroom's right here. Um, same identical to like what I used to have. Um, pretty much like literally even this stuff looks the same. So again, I love everything about this. I This apartment's just really cute. And all the details on it, like even... I would say the lights. Well, it doesn't come with the boob light. It's like a modification of a boob light. But like the trim on it, and within my closet, I call it my closet. It's kind of mine and Randall's now because his closet was the other one in the bedroom when we put the baby stuff in it. I let him move into mine because I wasn't even using any of this. So lots of shelving. Um, it's jam-packed. My organization's not doing well. We have more baby stuff right here, and that's like a donation pile I've started. And then my dresser. For some reason, Max hasn't really tried um, ruining this. I don't know why he really likes Randall's, <laughs> like not mine, which is great. And then a little chestnuts here, jewelry. I have more, the rest of my jewelry is like hidden away. Um, but yeah, that is, I think, everything. We're not setting up like a nursery or anything because again, we're moving. So that will be like in wherever, God, I don't even wanna think. I, we don't even have a place where we're moving to yet. So um, hopefully there's room for a nursery. Okay, I'm gonna head out because my parents are in Utah and we need to go see them. And I'm getting out of breath and tired. Love you so much, bye.